Okay guys, today I'm going to teach you on how to link a factory I.O. on a OPC server or any OPC server. So first of all, you're going to open the factory I.O. Okay, so I will be putting here the conveyor 6 meters and then I will add here an automatic box refill and I will place it at the top of the conveyor down okay all right so after that we'll go to the file select drivers so here in the driver also we're going to select the OPC client data access so in the OPC client data access you just click the configuration and then in the OPC server, we're going to select what OPC server you're going to select. In my case, I'm using Keepware Keep Server X version 4. So before finishing this, then I have here already a created one. But so that you will also know how to do it, I will just click new. Click add channel. So I'm in my case, I'm uh, taking the data from Excel sheet. Since I'm using Excel sheet, then I will use the DDA client driver. We'll click next, next, and then finish. Then click to add a device. Then sheet, since I'm taking it from sheet. Okay, click to add. Since I did not memorize how to put this, then I will go to help. I will just copy this one. Then paste on the address. So I will name it in start. I will uh, select the data type into boolean. Since I'm taking it from sheet 1, then I will uh, change sheet 3 into sheet 1. Then check. Okay, everything's fine. Click OK. I will copy this then I will just change this change this into stop and then the stop I'm going to change the row into two click apply oh sorry row two okay then we will open Excel so in the Excel so this will be the row and the column, the row and then the column. This A is the column and this one is the row. So I want this to be E button. So I will just go to developer, go to active X control, create a button. I will change the text and make this start. We'll copy this, we'll paste. No, but before that, I will change the color. So, how to do that? Just right click, go to properties, then the back color. Since it start, I will make this into green. Okay. And the text, I want this to be bigger. So, I'll go to the font, make it uh, 24. Okay. Okay, this is enough. Then I will make the I'll make a copy of, of this. Then place. I will change the color into red. Uh, about 
auto number two. Okay. I'm sorry. Change this name into stop. Okay. No, sorry. Should be properties. Properties. Okay. I'll we'll just say this first. So we'll change the color of this to red. I am not sure why it's not changing. So maybe I will just close this and then I will open again. Okay. So go to developer, design mode. Otherwise you're gonna change this if you are in not in design mode. Yeah. Now it's changing its color. Okay. All right. Save. So the exciting part is to assign this macro code. So I'll just double click the button and then I will just uh, assign the code. Since I will make A1 and A2. A1. E2 So whenever I click this button, A1 will have a value of 1 and the A2 will have a value of 0. Same as in stop. So I'll just copy this, copy, paste. So I'll just make a vice versa of it. Okay. So when I click the um, first button, it will have a value of a1 equals 0, a2, a, a1 equals 1, a2 equals 0, uh, reverse with the stop button. So now let's try. So I already removed the design mode. So whenever I press this, then here we'll have a 1 and here we'll have 0. Okay, as you can see, it's at 1 and 0. So if I stop it, then 0, and then 1. Then I will take this value on our factory I.O. So before that, I will also show you that this one also change. Okay. So the value of your stop is 1. And then the value of your start is 1. So just to make this clear, I make it start. Then the value also here will get 1. And then if I stop, okay. Now we'll take that data on our factory IO. So we'll just click the browse item. Then I'll go back. So as you can see, we have here stop and start. Now let's go back to our conveyor. Okay. So here, this conveyor, you can assign the configuration by pressing right click, go to the configuration, and then digital. Digital means if the value is 1, then it will move forward. If the value is 0, then it will stop. So if plus and minus, then the plus will move forward and then the minus will move reverse and analog the speed. So we'll just uh, select the digital one. Okay, so the next step is to assign the address on the conveyor. So we'll go back to the driver. Here in the stop, 
we can we have here actuators so the roller will be the conveyor so whenever this one then it will run the conveyor so let's see start okay let's move it in an isometric view okay okay let's start as you can see it started see and then you can stop it's very easy start okay so in this part you can play you can put a sensor here so that the conveyor will stop so let's do it so I will uh, select a sensor here for example okay shall I say I will put here so you can see this broken line is the sensor where it is sensing so I will rotate this like that so whenever it sends the sensor the conveyor will stop so how to do that I can make another another tag on our keepware I will just click sensor uh, downstream sensor okay and then I will uh, assign an address so this is only a dummy address and then it will be shit so maybe I will make this in the row 3 I will change the data type into boolean click apply click ok now we have downstream sensor so this downstream sensor will need to assign we must assign so go to driver so since this is not yet updated you can disconnect and then connect so if still not then go to configuration browse the item and then go back so here the down sensor downstream sensor so here I will go here put the ruler and then for the downstream sensor here in the sensors as you can see in the left topmost then I will put it here sorry oops sorry this is output should be put here in the input okay now let's create uh what you call this let's create a scenario so this sensor will sense if there's a basket here and then it will stop the conveyor so we will put the condition here so how to do that then we can just sim simply here here in the
So if you want to stop the conveyor, if the sensor is triggered, then you have to, have to do is to add a VBA on a module. So how to do that? You just right click and then insert module. So since I have here module one, and also have a created code, so you can just copy this. So A3 means that is the assignment of my sensor. So if it's greater than zero, then the value of A1 will get in zero. This one. So let's see if uh, it's working. So let's start again our project. Okay, let's see. zero I mean we are done Oops, it's not starting because the VBA really didn't start. Now it stopped because the sensor is triggered. So that's it.